far from 100. And I don't fuck with 12, and you look like a dozen. I spit heat like an oven. Early morning, wake and bake. I keep J's like Jose. Say my prayers, start my day. Hit a lick, make a play. I'm watching out for these snakes. Copperheads, fill them up, hit them up with copper lead. Leave them dead, yeah, I pledge to the fame. Let it bang, let it rain. Say no names, know the code, just no hoes. First you get the money, then the power come. But keep it on the low, like. What up YouTube, I'm Topaz Jason. I'm back with another requested review in which yesterday we reviewed a project from Second Nature called Fall Out, which I was mistaken. I thought that was his newest project, but that was actually something he recorded back in 2013 that he wanted my impressions on. And he gave me the new project that he dropped earlier this year called Fall Out 2. Now, I definitely hear some more progression from Fall Out 1 to Fall Out 2, man. And the main thing is, is in your confidence level you did like when you rapping I believe you some of the times and shit man you're pretty much showing the potential of who you can be the types of tracks that you can put out but the problem is you're just showing some potential in it it's not the full project here like the songs that I'm talking about is that my world and that money power respect man solid joints. Now one thing about that Money, Power, Respect and some other tracks that you got scattered in here, you got some new shit in there where you're pretty much slowing down the tempo when you hitting a punchline or something. Man. And you know, it's cool at times, man, because you're like putting more emphasis on punchlines and shit, man, in which that's a good thing, but yet you use it way too much and honestly, it's not that great of a tool, but I like the fact that you're trying something different there. I mean, those tracks, you definitely prove that you are ready for the next level here. Which, what the next level is, is creating a full project with quality tracks like those. And I'ma tell you exactly how all of the big boys do it, man. And we talking all the way back to Michael Jackson and shit when he was making his classics. What they do is they record a lot, release a little. Like I would say, for your next project, record like 50 tracks. Now that 50 tracks, select the best seven out of them joints and only release those. I mean, you could use the others for later in such man, but those core tracks, those are the only ones you putting out so you can keep your level of quality up. Now there are more things to this level that you definitely need to be doing as well, man. Like as far as your features go. First, you should never be putting on anybody on your tracks just to fill up space, you did. Like, these guys have to bring something to the damn table. Like, you need to surround yourself with greatness and quite possibly better rappers than you so that shit can rub off on you, man. So never put anybody on a damn record that's not at least as good as you. Second of all, these dudes who aren't working as hard as you to improve upon themselves, man, you really don't need them around. Also on this level, man, now that you're making some pretty decent tracks, man, you have to begin to think about who you are as an individual. Like, what makes you different from all of these other MCs? Because musically, you're not on the level where you're just going to rap and people going to automatically flock to you and shit. Like, you need to identify with individuals or you need to be completely different from these other people so that you can stand out on your own. And which that leads to fame for a lot of people, man, like, look at Shy Glizzy, who made the Double XL freshman class and shit, man. He pretty much represents, I believe, Northeast DC and shit, and people love him up there, not because of the music and shit, because they relate to him from being from the same fucking spot. So you definitely got to do some soul searching here, like, who are you? Exactly who do you represent? What people out here are not being spoken for that you can step in and say some shit and represent them so that you can get that love from that population for you to build up an audience. And that's another main thing there, man, because even though this is your best project to date, it's still far from being the standard of the industry and shit. But yet, right now, you are better than many people out there who already have a fan base, man. Like, take Little B. He doesn't even fucking try to rap, you dig? But yet, he has a massive fan base because it's all about damn promotion. That's what you gotta understand about this game. I mean, the better your music, that's cool. More people gonna be open to you, but having the right promotion to the right people, man, then you are definitely gonna have a career. And now, promotion, nobody could really help you with that shit because it's based on an individual basis, you dig? It's really based off of what you are willing to do, man. What you actually have, what kind of finances are you willing to fucking spend, what kind of ideas do you have, how unique are you as an individual. 
Who are you targeting? How far are you willing to go? This is all the shit that goes inside of your promotional plan, which is all got to be unique to you as an individual because it's only going to work for you. Now, the things that I can tell you about a promotional plan is one, no matter how much money you got, it's not going to be enough, man. You're going to have to supplement your money with nothing but hard work. Like, you got to rely on hard work to stretch every damn dollar. Second, you got to know who the fuck you were trying to talk to and figure out where to fucking find them and figure out how to talk to them, you feel me? Because a lot of people did not just open to new rappers and shit these days. And third, you got to be consistent with it, man. You got to continuously hit these people until they break down and be like, okay, we fuck with you now. But overall, I got to say, man, you are definitely looking up and shit, you feel me? You are definitely climbing up because I can tell you're putting in the work. You cannot stop putting in the work, you did. You just got to go harder and harder every fucking day, every fucking year until you actually succeed at this shit. So everybody, please go ahead, check out this project, man. The link to it is going to be in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPairs.com, that's down there, to read today's article.